You are running late. Come on, give me a hand. Tighter. I hate to see you this way. Don't worry about it. But why should you have to suffer like this? I mean, you could have it for yourself if you wanted. Right? You're beautiful. You're powerful. And I've never seen you give up on anything. Yeah, but then what? Leave the rest of my days as the shabby, worn-down wife of a farmer. <laughs> you and I are destined for better things. Hmm? With your beauty, you will achieve anything. You know what? Come with me. You're kidding. No, I'm not. I'm only sorry I didn't think of it before. Pick out a dress. What's going on? It's not my birthday. It is, especially because that <laughs> was so thrilling. You kicking that vicious asshole out of here and taking over yourself, humiliating him the way you did. If I have my way to Davy National all day. And what's this? It's a gift. Remember the day of the store. I do. I knew it was love at first sight. Given we got Barnaby to lower the price of his water, why don't we take the day off? I'm sorry. Why not? Simone's got the best of us anyway. Shoves your face away so he doesn't have to. Which is all that men like him want. Why did you have to belittle me like that? You belittle yourself by being so childish. It hurts. But women can survive in this world without power. That's what you wanted when you first came here. And that's what I delivered. I've heard my cousin being in love and wanted to tie the knot. Ain't you in love with my cousin, sweetheart? Well, Nathan's sweet, and I'm fond of him. But no, I'm not. My loyalties will always be to Eve in any case. Good day, Henry. Everything okay, Tony? If it were me, I would at least try. And if I got bored, I'd just Send him home. You're such a child. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just bored. What are you doing here? You only said it because Eve was there. Eve's done so much for me, and the ladies are my family, Nathan. I've never wanted a child, ever. My God, I wouldn't even know where to start. What am I now, Eve? What am I? She has to only one thing. <laughs> Her is vested in me. I do hereby order the executioner to fulfill his duty. I couldn't gather the girl, Susan. I want to change your hair to the red. Go get it. We can't. It's still wet. She's fine with this one. 
The red one, I said. The red one's her favorite. Do you understand? I know. Is that it? We're just gonna run away? We... It wouldn't take more than two or three days. All we got it. Good to see you, Simon. How are you? Hungry. Do you also? Sure. Keep your money. It's only house. Why did you come back, honey? Without Ip and McCoy, this town is doomed. Well, I thought I might take things over myself, Tony. Sorry, sir. Yes. But I cannot leave this alone. This has been a real hard few days in town. Sir. For a matter of such urgency, you're offering less than you paid for your boots. I didn't ask for your opinion, kid. I'll take you there. For two hundred dollars. The last fellow who tried to double your money on gave you that. The fellow who gave me this died with a stroke cut. It's two hundred because you ain't gonna find anyone else to take you there. They're all too scared. But you're not scared. You need to go there. And I need the money. Tell me something. Is this the first time you negotiated with someone like me? I bet. Someone else set a price for your little buddy. Got a deal. Let's go. Easy, boy. Sheriff. McCoy? McCoy. How well do we know him? Pretty well. Good. Second, tell me all about him on the way. Are you planning to kill him? To kill him? <laughs> 